we are going to have this one becomes what n over 2 n over 2 times another half as for 30 years then for 40 years we are going to have this is what n over 4 n over 4 times 2 on half and that's for 40 years and that's now what that is n over 8 so the fraction in 40 years will be 1 over 8 that is how to determine the half life of a particular radioactive substance then let me now go to the questions now to balance simple nuclear equation using UTME questions as a platform is look at this first question now question one nitrogen 14 7 plus x give rise to this in the above reaction x is a how do you know what x is so solution to this so the reaction we are given here is n 14 7 plus x and we are having o 7 10 8 plus this now if you sum everything here together 17 plus 1 that means it's now 18 that is what the mass number then 8 plus 8 plus 1 that is 9 that's what atomic number now the mass number must be the same on both sides you know remember i said that so if the mass number must be the same on both sides that means you are having 18 here you are having 14 here that means this one needs four more so then maybe x as four then the atomic number nine here seven here so to make up for the nine here you need to have two more to this two so which species is having this characteristic it is no other species other than what helium atom that's the one that has four two so you go to our option and see the one that will that will be suitable Option A, neutron. No. Option B, helium atom. So you don't need to waste your time. So it's option B, which is helium atom. Let's move to the next question. Question 2. If an element X of atomic number Z and mass number Y, so that means you have an atom, you have an element X having what? Atomic number Z, so it will be down. Atomic number is expressed down. Mass number Y, so you have it up. Okay, is irradiated by an intense concentration of neutrons. So you are bombarding it with what neutrons. That's what it means. And when anything, any species you bombard with neutron is an example of what? It's an example of artificial radioactivity or artificial transmutation. Take note of that fact. So in this situation, because it's not natural, it will not occur naturally now. Uh, I mean spontaneously. So in that regard, then the question that asks us to now balance the reaction. So if you have to balance this reaction, so this element is ir irritated with neutron. So automatically, I said initially that the mass number on the left hand side must be equal to the mass number on the right hand side. So the mass, what is the mass number on the left hand side? Mass number on the left, left hand side. It will definitely be y plus 1, because this plus this will be the mass number. Then the atomic number will be what? Atomic number on the left hand side will definitely be z plus 0, which is equal to what? Z. So automatically, since you're having your x there, then definitely for it to be equal to the left hand side, your x here has to be y plus 1 and your y as and the atomic number of x has to be z while the mass number has to be what? y plus 1 so let's go to our option and see the one that matches that option A that's correct option A is the correct option then question 3 we have carbon 14 we have carbon 14 C14 then you have it producing x plus beta and what is beta beta is minus one zero that's electron so automatically what you are saying is that 14 carbon 14 will now be x plus electron 
And whenever you have a beta emission, what happens to the atomic number? It will definitely increase. Remember, we did something like that previously. So that means because it will definitely increase. So then, then definitely what it means that if you have a six here, that it will come to seven. Because seven minus six will commensurate for the six that is here. Take note of that fact. But nothing happens to the what? Mass number because this is zero. Now we seven. Yeah. So we have a hey, can be 14 years. So we have the species will be 14 seven. Which species are we talking that has atomic number of seven, mass number of seven? That is the middle of nitrogen. So we go to our option and see the one that matches that. And that's option B. The next question we have this is radium. This is radium going to radon. So in this situation, we have a beta emission. So automatically, what it simply means is that our radium, which is 22688, then going to run radon, which is 86, x is here. But you have what? A beta decay. So what's a beta decay? Minus 1, 0. So what happens to this? Okay, not a beta decay. As an alpha, alpha decay, sorry. Alpha decay is helium atom. Two, four. Okay, so then mainly 86 plus 2, that is what 88. So this has commensurated this so automatically down on the settle. Then here you have 2 to 6, and you have having 4 here. Subtract 4 from 2 to 6, you have 2 to 2. two, two. So 2 to 2 plus 4, 2 to 2 plus 4 is the one that will give us 2 to 6. That means the x is definitely what? 2 to 2. So we'll go to our option and see the one that matches that. That will definitely be option B. The next question we have sodium being bombarded by what? Or being bombarded with neutron. So the now said this reaction is an example of what? Each time you have a bombardment of what? Neutron. It is what artificial because we are trying to induce that. That means such a reaction will not occur spontaneously. So we have got no other option than A nuclear fission, no. B nuclear fusion, no, because nuclear fusion has to do with splitting. B nuclear fusion combination, but a bombardment of the neut neutron uh, neutron non uh, nullify this. C artificial transmutation. Artificial transmutation. Is the same thing as artificial radioactivity, so that would be a very suitable option. Then D, beta decay. So the answer will be artificial transmutation because of the bombardment of the what? Neutron. Take note of that. The arrangement of particles in crystal lattices can be studied using the only concept that that can be used to study the arrangements of particles in crystal lattices is x-rays take note of that fact so we normally use x-rays that's one of the significance of using x-rays it is used to study the arrangement of what crystal lattices take note of that so by that option option d will be the most suitable also in addition it can also be used to study the giant molecule, a uh, giant organic molecules. They can use it to also study to study giant organic molecules. The next question: the radioactive emission with the least ionization energy or ionization power is out of the alpha particles, beta particles and gamma rays. This one has the highest ionization energy, followed by this, and this one has the least. Take note of that fact. So in this situation, the question is asking us that the radioactive emission that, the, that with the least ionization uh, power is A beta particles, B alpha particles, no, C x-rays, this one is not even there, 
D gamma rays. So there is no other option other than what gamma rays. That is option D. Then the next question: the radio radio isotope used in the industrial radio radiography for the rapid checking of fault in where in where in welds and casting is a iodine 131 b carbon 14 no because carbon 14 is used in what in carbon dating c phosphorus 32 no d cobalt 60 take note of that fact it's cobalt 60 that is required in the industrial radiography for the rapid checking of faults in in works and casting so the answer is option D. Then the next question. Cathode rays cause an object placed behind a perforated anode to cast shadow on the screen. This observation shows that the rays are what? Positively charged. B are negatively charged. C have mass. D travel in straight lines. Cathode rays cause an object placed behind a perforated anode to cast shadow on the screen. This observation shows that the rays is definitely because they travel in straight lines and that's the reason for why you have them um, cathode rays casting shadow behind a perforated